Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Okay. Hello and welcome to The One Who Seeks. This is your full moon in Virgo reading. February 24th, 2024. Heart's fluttering already. We're going to start with the opening prayer. I protect myself with a clear and malleable bubble that reflects what needs to be seen for your highest good and for the good of others. I invite in only that is of love to join us in this collective reading. I ask the Archangels Michael to protect us with light so bright that it surrounds us. Gabriel to help us be a clear and open channel to the messages coming in. Raphael to guide us on our path to enlightenment. Thank you for being here. Please get comfortable. We are open and receptive to our own intuitions and we honor the emotions and lessons that will be revealed to us. Please send us signs we will recognize to let us know you are here with us. So the sound of Om is to help sharpen our intellect and calm our nervous system to restore balance. Clear the mind and enhance the power of the mind. Om is dedicated to the Hindu god of the moon, Chandra. Okay. 
Okay, I have set up a very special reading here today for the full moon in Virgo. Alright, so I just want to talk a little bit about the energies of Virgo. And what we're here to do today, what we're here to release. Okay, so and Virgos are very analytical, they're patient, they're hardworking, they're intelligent, and reliable. And like with anything, there are the good and the bad sides, the light and the dark. So tonight, or today, during this full moon at 4.28 a.m. Pacific Time and 7.28 a.m. Eastern Time. What are we going to be releasing today? This is very, very early morning. Almost like nighttime. Depends on what time you wake up, right? You might still be sleeping. Okay, but the power of the moon will last a couple days before and a couple days after. All right, it encourages us to balance our logic and intuition and motivates us to focus on ourselves rather than others. It's an opportunity to de detoxify ourselves of any thoughts or beliefs that we are not worthy or not good enough. Okay, so a lot of the things that I found that popped out to me that maybe um, you out there need to release during this Virgo time. Okay, so your perfectionism, don't be overly critical, judgment of others. Overthinking situations, highly sensitive, highly sensitive emotionally of themselves, of yourself. You can be shrewd at times. Needs to feel useful. Overly supporting others. Constant pursuit of improvement, meticulous, and your stubbornness. So those may be the. Um, some of the things that you need to release during this full moon. Okay, maybe one of them, maybe all of them, uh, maybe none of them, but then you probably wouldn't be here. Okay. So... Virgo is part of the sixth house, which is work and service. Individuals' health and responsibilities, their ability to solve problems, make decisions, and lead an orderly life. It is Earth, Pentacles, and Mercury. Six means harmony in numerology, which is caregiver, family-oriented, compassionate, dependable, and on the flip side of that, what we might need to be releasing, possessive, smothering, and jealous. All right. So I'm going to do things a lot differently today. It is a special ritual of the full moon. Okay, so I have pre-picked some cards. that I think really relate to the Virgo. So we have the Virgo, which is an earth sign, which is the Virgin. Okay. You know, you're a Virgin because 
nobody ever lived up to your expectation, right? Nothing was ever good enough for you to um, settle down, maybe get married, and then make love. So this is what we're talking about today, is your worth. And um, Virgos, uh, birth stone is the Peridot, which is green. And this is why I pulled, pulled out the heart chakra, because of the green color. Right, and the Peridot represents healing, physical well-being, emotional balance, and spiritual growth. And we'll be talking a lot about balance. Things that need to be balanced. Right, and we had a reading the other day about the heart chakra on 222. And it has shown itself again. Right, so this is um, influences, thoughts about harmony, power of love, sharing, giving and receiving, growth, balance, hate, anger, and despair. Issues include fear of loneliness, dependency on others, depression of spirit, betrayal, heart disease, and cancer. This is about um, thymus heart, blood circulation, and your immune system, which is also going to pop up a little later here. So things to really pay attention to would be your immune system and your heart. I have unconditional love and compassion for myself and others. I release the past and embrace who I really am now. I forgive myself and others and I am open to see all things differently. My heart is filled with compassion, joy, and forgiveness. I gladly give and receive from the depth of my heart. Okay. And then I also pulled the solar plexus chakra for Virgo. Um, because some of the things that we need to release are on this card. This is directly associated with personal power and control. Influences, thoughts about personal power, trust, beliefs, self-esteem, emotions, risk, aggression, decisions. Issues include sensitivity to criticism, low self-esteem, a need to be in control, allergies, diabetes, stomach ulcers. Also affects the pancreas, liver, gallbladder, stomach, and upper spine. I am totally worthy of enjoying life. I will see that I am strong. I will experience abundance with ease and grace. My emotions are balanced and peaceful. I am powerful, confident, and deserving. I open myself to see and embrace my life purpose. I am one with I am. Uh, I kind of started giggling a little bit to myself here. The, the aromatherapy, um, the lemon, lemon and ginger, and it just stood out to me because my, my husband's a Virgo and he really loves lemon. Um, and we have the yellow color here. So it really stood out to me. Right, so those are the chakras we're working with. Let's put those to the side. And then I have pre-picked um, some intention cards. Um, these are affirmations. And I felt like they really went with the Virgo vibe. And I wanted to pull them out as an intention to set a stronger foundation of what we're trying to release and what we're trying to gain. Okay. And your affirmations are going to be, I forgive myself 
and I am worthy. Okay, so say those to yourself over and over again. Write them down, put them on your mirror. Remind yourself every day when you wake up, when you go to bed, when you're brushing your teeth, when you're going to the bathroom, you know, however you're going to see it the most out of the day. Put it at your desk, put it in the kitchen. You know, most people spend a lot of time in the kitchen. It's the heart of the home. Put it on your refrigerator. I forgive myself. I am worthy. Right. I love my inner beast and we hug until we heal. Mm -hmm. Okay, your inner dragon. Your chaos and madness is part of you. Instead of slaying your dragon, what if you loved it? Healing means coming to terms with your inner beast and giving it a sensual, I never want to let you go crazy ass <laughs> type of hug. Love it like your life depends on it. When your dragon feels seen and appreciated, it hands over everything it's been hiding. All the darkness that you've been so scared of turns into fire in front of your eyes and lights up your new world. Danger transcends to opportunity. Look who's blowing fire now. Mm -hmm. I creatively, cre creatively, <laughs> tongue time. Sorry, Virgo. I create creatively. Mm. Create my creations, tongue tied. I am brilliant, worthy, and oozing with star power. While thinking is generally healthy, too much thinking opens doors for resistance. Resistance gremlins to come party in your brain, unleashing swarms of insecurity, imposter syndrome, self doubt, and excessive justification. Overthinking leads to obstinate procrastination and obstruction of your magic and creativity. Remember you are composed of the same elements in infinite space, glimmering stars, snow-capped volcanoes, and seraphic waterfalls. You have a gift that only Source has, the power to create. The time you waste trying to justify your creations is time you should be creating your creations. Stop fucking around. Okay. I am only available for kick-ass things that makes me feel serene. Reserve your time and energy for projects, people, and experiences that excite, support, and fuel your growth. Make yourself unavailable for anything that makes you feel like poop. Rather than folding into the conformity majority, be a little more selfish and demand the unique life you truly deserve. Be relentless in your truth. Stop caring about what everyone else wants you to care about. Ignore toxic people who aren't in line with your vision. Befriend, study, and help people who are. Create habits and environments that help strengthen your mind and allow you to thrive. From now on, you are only available for kick-ass things that make you feel serene. Capiche? <laughs> I forgive those who have harmed me in the past and peacefully but powerfully detach from them. Be honest with people about who you are, how you feel, and how you expect to be treated. Anyone who isn't receptive to your wishes and truth doesn't deserve your energy anyway. Some people will only like you if you fit inside their box, 
So don't be afraid to shove that box up their ass and bounce. If you have been hurt, release tension between yourself and others by disconnecting, reclaiming your energy and using it to develop peace internally. My mind is King Kong strong and I'm even stronger. You know what helps in every situation? The ability to be King Kong strong within your thoughts. Strengthening your mind leads to humility, patience, self-confidence, courage, honesty, focus, flexibility, awareness, gratitude, and the ability to beat resistance and fear gremlins to a pulp. When you create habits to strengthen your mind, meditation, creative expression, relaxation, self-love, etc., you strengthen the rest of your life too relationships, career, projects, sexy time, etc. When you understand that you're also stronger than your mind, your mind follows suit and levels up to superhero status. That cape looks hella fresh on you. Okay. And then with my attitude of gratitude, I light up the moon. And of course, it's the full moon. If you gaze at the stars, it may seem like darkness owns most of the sky. However, light exists everywhere, even in the space where it appears black. There just isn't any matter in that space to reflect the light for you to see. Gratitude is the same way. You may only see it when it reflects off an object like your big hearted friends, your sassy cat, or that last roll of toilet paper grandma just punched you for. If you have an attitude of gratitude all the time, the moon will always be full. Okay, so those are the intentions that we want to set for releasing. All right, and some activities that you can do. Go outdoors, take a hike with friends, ground yourself, meditate outside in the wilderness, uh, stick your hands in the dirt, planting something, doing some gardening. Okay, that will help relax you. Okay. So now we're going to do a pick a deck. Okay, we're going to have to move these over here. Give myself some room. Here we have three decks. Let's see, we can't really see that one very much. Let's push these guys back a little. Okay, we're gonna do the same spread for each of these decks. I want you to take a look at each of the piles. There we go. And see which one resonates with you the most. So we have pile number one, which is the Crystal Visions Tarot. And we have the uh, Hermitite. 
keep it tight. Let's see. What are they? It's hematite. I think I wrote it wrong here. <laughs> so you have the beautiful hematite. It's kind of a, got a mercury look to it. Okay, this is for grounding. And then we have the rhodonite, which is compassion. Okay, and that goes for pile number one. And then pile number two, right here, we have the Ethernal Vision Illuminated Tarot. And we have the Howlite. That's for calmness. And the Snowflake Obsidian, which is for balance. And then we have pile number three with the Souls on Fire Tarot and the Rose Quartz, which is love. And fluorite for clarity. Okay. We have two stones for each deck. However, it resonates with you. moon card the magician and the hermit for each of these decks since the magician and the hermit represent Virgo and it is the full moon so I pulled out the moon okay and the moon is about things that are unseen things that need to be illuminated Purging, which is what we'll be doing. We'll be purging old limiting beliefs, mostly about self. Okay, the magician is something, someone who is magical. They create tricks, only they know what those tricks actually are. Um, they distract you over here so that they can do something over here and stick something up your sleeve, um, make things pop out of their sleeves as they're distracting you over here. So it could be something that's very deceitful. Okay, and then the hermit is about going inward connecting to your intuition, thinking about what you really want, finding a new path, lighting the way for yourself. This is about self-love. So don't, don't deceive yourself about yourself. Illuminate this. you talking bad to yourself you know, there's a lot of robes here you know robes are you know, always remind me of like witches and wizards spirituality, the shepherds. Okay, 
you know, and this is like kind of a more modern robe here. You know, it could be like pajamas. You're hanging around the house a lot. You're in this hermit mode. But you're creating things. You're thinking about things. The light and the dark. Your choices. Okay. So, pile number one, and actually, before we even get into actually doing this pile, set that aside here, I'm going to bring up my board. straight for you. <laughs> it's definitely going to be crooked for me. So, here we have your flower. And I feel like pink has really been the color of the day. Um, so, Virgo's flower is the, the Chrysanthemum. The Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum? <laughs> the chrysanthemum and it does come in other colors um, pink seems to be the most popular uh, and it does mean love loyalty and friendship so I run friend loyal and love on there okay and then I have the spread it's a four card spread and this is uh, the Full Moon in Virgo by Noble Lion Prince. Okay, not affiliated with them at all. Um, just did a search to find a spread, and this is the one I ended up loving. Uh, it felt like she had the chrysanthemums in her hair. She also looks like she's got some bones here in this in this wreath style, with the Virgo symbol on her third eye, and I really feel like this represents today. Okay. Okay. So now we're gonna get into. More decks. Okay, I'm gonna leave these here at the top with your stones. Okay. Ooh. So we have what have you brought to us this full moon to heal? Death. something that needs to die right old limiting beliefs you need to um, renew yourself shine yourself in a new light in a bright light get out of this darkness trans transformation freedom you know, there's this grounding again. When you die, you get buried and you're put into the ground. And you become one with the earth. Okay. You have your angel of death here. Who is watching over you. 
but they're protecting you. They're helping you get to heaven here. They're helping you with your spirituality, right? So what are you healing here? Well, lamenting beliefs. Depression. Okay, and then what area of your life needs to be organized? <coughs> Judgment. Stop having judgment on yourself. Having so much judgment on others. Right? Everybody's tooting to their own horn. If you just let be, you know, bygones be bygones. And everybody live their own life. Instead of being so worried about what other people are doing or how they're doing it all the time. Because it's not to the perfection of the Virgo standard. Okay, you're very hard on yourself. Okay, you're doing great. You're playing this beautiful music and these fairies are dancing around. They're loving it, it's magical. But in your mind, you're thinking, how, how can I make this different? How can I make this better? Right, which is great, but only to an extent. You can't be overthinking it. Just do it. Just feel the music. Just blow into it. See what, what sound comes out. It doesn't matter as long as you're doing it, as long as you're taking the action. You know, you don't always know everything at the beginning. It takes time. It takes time to learn things. You have to become vulnerable in order to learn something new, though. You've got to take that leap to jump in there. Jump in the dirt, jump, jump in that hole, get your hands dirty. You know, be willing to make a fool of yourself or not be completely perfect. It's okay. You're still going to go to heaven. There's nothing wrong with it. It's how we learn. We learn by making mistakes. Okay, how can you stay grounded moving forward? Hmm. Nine of Swords. Protect yourself. Create a barrier. Like you're giving too much to other people. It's time for you to rest. Everybody's sitting here waiting in line for you. All these crows are waiting for you. This person, this crow's next in line. And they're trying to wake you up. They're like, hello. I've been waiting here. Tapping their foot. I'm waiting. We're all waiting. Are you ever going to wake up to help us? We all need help. These are your boundaries. You need to set your boundary. You need to take some time for yourself or self-care. Get some sleep. Get rest. Free your mind. Stop overthinking. Okay. The outcome of this full moon in Virgo. Your outcome. Oh, so beautiful. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Dragon. Year of the Dragon. It's 2024. Chinese Zodiac. Year of the Dragon. Okay. You're, you're going to have this beautiful rainbow here. 
You're gonna have freedom. It looks like she's in lingerie here. Maybe you're gonna have some sexual freedom. Right? Because you're loving yourself. And then you're gonna feel sexy and free. And you're gonna wanna expose yourself. You know, expose your internal emotions. Expose your body. You're going to feel good. You're going to look good. You're going to be sexy. Right? But you need to get rid of this old limiting beliefs that you're not good enough and always helping others. You're always everybody's angel. You know, you look really good on the outside to everybody, but on the inside, you're like, I just need a break. But you don't show it to the world. You have strength. And you just keep on pushing. But now you look exhausted from being everybody's, I'm going to save you. I'm going to fix it. I'll do it for you. You need to feed your, your own soul. Fill your own cup. Light your own rainbow. This dragon's like holding all these cups. And see how many I can grab. Oh, this is really cool. Look at all these gifts. See how many we can get. Let's collect them all. Get to fill your own cup to have this freedom, this raw, vibrant essence that nobody can deny. Okay, striving. Eventually, the individual's ego drive to make things happen falls away, replaced with the relaxed, trusting, openness to answer answers as they arise. Thank you, Divine, for letting me move with the flow. Right? Making things happen right here. The ego is in the way. Just relax. Trust. When love is invited to take over, right actions arise at the right time. Allow me, dear divine, to wait patiently until the timing is right. Let me rest in the unknown until a clear path is shown. Here we go. We're resting again. Because we're trusting in the divine. The divine's going to make this happen. They're protecting you. They're looking over you. You are an angel yourself. Right? You're an angel to others because you're always helping others. Shungite. Detox your life. Right? Detox. Death. Get rid of the old negatives. You get some Shungite. And Selenite. All right, the selenite. Clear the clutter. This is for having a clear vision here. All right, clearing the clutter. It's kind of funny because this dragon's picking up all these cups that are just kind of laying out in this pond, right? And it looks like there's a little bit more order to it now. Whereas they may have been all over the place. They may have been knocked over. You gotta pick them up and organize them. Straighten them out. Make them look pretty and shiny again. Stepping through. Beautiful. So again, you have to become vulnerable. 
your lotus flower, your blooming, hummingbirds, butterflies, hearts and bubbles. And then we have some lilies here. Looks like with crystals in them. Okay, this is kind of a going with the flow. Stepping through. Stepping through the other side here. Interesting. So we also have stepping through the arc here. The archway under the full moon. You're stepping through the veil. The veil. <laughs> And then we have Heart Chakra, wow! Because that's the chakra we're working with. So, um, unfurling back to love. And this is a dragonfly hair. Okay, and dragonflies usually symbolize somebody on the other side who has passed. And when you see a dragonfly, it represents them coming back to you. All right, so a part of you has died and they are com and it's coming back to you now. Mm-hmm, okay, and then I'm going to do a um, clarifying, right? So we're going to use the, the angels, angel tarot deck. And what we're doing is, uh, what is your purpose in life? Okay. So we're going to find the ace of wands and what's in front of it and what's behind it. Mm hmm. There's a magician. Mm hmm. This might take a little while, huh? Here's the Ace of Wands right there. Beautiful. Okay, so here we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Three of Swords in the front and the King of Pentacles in the back. So what this means is the card behind is the action towards your first step. Okay, and this is a six card. This is about harmony. We're in the sixth house, the sixth zodiac sign. The praiseworthy, praiseworthy God, which is perfect for you, Virgo, because your love language is being praised. Words of affirmation, right? You want to know that you're being useful and that you're doing a good job. And you really like to hear that. That's what makes you feel good. That's what lights your fire. It gives you that freedom and all these wings you get three sets of wings light of understanding uh, cures knowledge and cures illness Lila hell mm -hmm. all right and then the one in front is what you need to focus on and it looks like you need to focus on being triumphant. Okay, it's a 39. So it's a 12. It's a 3 card. It's about creativity. Love and submission cures illness. Influences paternal love. Gives long life. So there's a lot of curing of illness. Right, the illness of being in your head all the time. You know, it's a sickness, it's an insanity. The quickly forgiving God. 
And it is God forgives you for being analytical and shrewd and overly, overly critical at times. Okay, you need to give more love. Being triumphant, giving love to yourself. Okay. Okay, pile number one. It was a beautiful reading. Remember, stay out of your head. Just do it. Take the break that you need. Set your boundaries. And have all these beautiful rainbow cups with your dragon. Stand in your own. Okay. Beautiful energy. All right. And pile number two. Okay. Beautiful pile number two. All right, what have you brought to this full moon to heal? Three of Cups. Hmm, you need to bring together some sort of unity. This could be um, with your family, maybe co-workers. Uh, maybe this is some sort of a congregation, like a church. Right, and getting together with others. None of these ladies are actually looking at each other. They're all really concentrated on their their own cups you, know, you need to share your emotions with the others that are around you you're keeping everything into your for yourself but you don't look very happy you have these halos here around your head so you're an angel I think you're wearing yourself out with overthinking and helping others, being everybody's angel, everyone's God sent. Right? You're drinking the blood of Jesus. Maybe you're looking for a new congregation. Uh, you, the people that you are going to church with now maybe don't understand how you feel. And so you feel like you can't speak up. I mean, you're very close to these people, but yet not close enough to talk about your feelings. You know, it is cups kind of remind me of like cell phones everybody's all on their cell phone all the time there's no real communication in person yeah you're communicating with somebody else but these people are right here with you which is keeping you in agony you're not even happy about this You need to build your connections. Okay, what area of your life needs to be organized? Five of Swords. Let's see if I 
think I'm gonna use up a bit. Organizing your weapons, your tools. So you organize your tools. Organize your priorities. Do you want to go over here and stand next to the lake with these other people? Or do you just want to sit here in your own thoughts? Okay, it's just very hermit energy here. You secluding yourself from these other people too much in the mind to organize your thoughts organize the tools that you have use your mind How can you stay grounded moving forward? It's the two of wands. Have a good home base, right? Maybe you're looking for a new church, a congregation here. Um, something to join where people will understand you. Because you, here you are alone again. Right? How do you stay grounded? How do you stay grounded when you're up in the tower by yourself? You're supposed to be sticking your feet in the sand here and in the water. That's how you ground yourself. Hopefully this concrete doesn't have any kind of sealant on it so that you can still be grounded. But you're at this higher level, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you're you're moving forward, you're moving up, you're coming into your spirituality, but you haven't really found the congregation, the family, the people who are going to understand you, so you kind of are just here by yourself. So, you know, you just need to... Um, seclude yourself, you know, uh, go spend some time daydreaming, staring at the clouds, looking up at the stars. You know, still trying to figure it out. All right, keep studying the magic. How do you manifest something? You think about it. Do you have a vision? You manifest it over time. Divinely led. Right? Maybe you catapulted up in here. You got these two long wands. This looks like you're really high up there. This looks like Super Mario Brothers and the in the pipes that you go down and come out of, right? And it's an obstacle. It's an endurance factor. Catapulting yourself. Did you climb up that pole and catapult yourself over that wall? That's hard work. You're going out of your way to seclude yourself. And then you stand back and you watch from afar. You don't really know how to interact with others. You feel secluded. So what is the outcome of this full moon in Virgo? Oh, the lovers. Aww. Beautiful. So maybe you'll meet somebody at church. Right? Some sort of congregation. 
you're going to meet someone. And I see a lot of water. Maybe you're going to meet them at the beach, at the lake, or even a watering pub, right? Somebody who likes outdoors. That's how you become grounded is by being outdoors. But you are also becoming grounded by being by yourself. You have a hard time being with others. And you are a lover yourself. You have a lot of passion. You're watching someone from afar. This could even be like over the internet. You're talking to a lot of people, but you're, you know, not very interested. Right? It's like Tinder or one, one of those dating sites. Um, yeah. Just the first one that came to mind, but there's so many out there. You're talking to a lot of different people. None of them are really matching up with what you want. You know, these are all like one night stands, which is not what you're interested in. They're not, they don't even care about you. They're not listening to you and what you have to say or what you're thinking. They're just drinking. They're just there to get drunk. All right. And maybe you're, you're searching, you're looking around on this website. These are all the different choices here. This is all the different women. Hmm, you're not really looking at any of them. You're kind of bored with it now. Now, none of them really worked out. There's still these other two here. I don't know. Continue searching. Somebody's gonna pop up though. Your twin flame, your soulmate. You're going to find what you're looking for. Change. Don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps. All you need is the one next action. You can say to love, just show me the first step and change me into one who can take it. Show me the first step, right? You're too much in your head. What's the next step? What's the next step? Where am I going to find this person? Just show me the first step and change me into one who can take it. All right? Change you into this lover. You're no longer going to be this loner. You're going to have someone here. And it's going to be magical. It's going to be dreamy. This person is thinking of you. They're waiting for you. You need to look. You need to make the magic happen. Okay, these kind of look like those flowers again. Feelings. Emotions want to be felt. You really can't surrender something until you deeply feel it. Allow me, dear divine, to offer all emotions to you, feeling them fully so they no longer hold me captive. Wow. So that's really... Emotions you... Emotions want to be felt. These are the emotions that you're not able to feel with these people, right? You really can't surrender something until you deeply feel it. Right? You're deeply feeling things here, right? To surrender yourself to this person, this new person coming in. 
Allow me, dear divine, to offer all emotions to you, feeling them fully so they no longer hold me captive. A lot of water here. All the emotions of the ocean. They no longer hold you captive, right? Because you're up in this tower protecting yourself. Lumerian Quartz. Practice patience, right? <laughs> you definitely need to have some patience here. Okay, it's not going to be the first person who pops up. Lapis. Laz. Lazuli. Make a decision. Make your decision. Right? Make your decision. Think about it. Picking this lady here. Endless opportunities. Yeah, there's an endless amount of opportunities out there. There are many fish in the sea. Or butterflies and, bu and bubbles. <laughs> right? Endless opportunities to find this love. Awakened awareness. Number 17. It's an 8. Manifestation. You're going to see it. Right? This almost looks like, almost like a camera lens with the eye. Right? Which goes with like meeting someone online. Awakened awareness. You finally awakened from this state of being a hermit. Okay, creating magic. Transformation as a magi magician. Okay, so the clarifying is going to be the angel tarot. And what is your purpose in life? So we're going to find the Ace of Wands, the card in front of it, and the card behind it. Behind is the action towards the first step, and the front card is what you need to focus on. Okay, so we're looking for the Ace of Wands. Ace of Cups. Ten of Wands. Judgment. Mm-hmm. They're so stuck together. They have this beautiful gold on the side. Um, but they were all stuck together and I had to spend quite some time pulling them apart. So pentacles. Mm hmm. Ace of Swords, Death, Hermit, the Sun. Right. Magician. That should be like the last card. <laughs> the Moon. Ace of Wands right there. Okay. So we have uh, the card behind is the action towards first step, which is the world card. 65. It's an 11 card or two, but it's a master number. 11 is a master number, so it doesn't actually break down. Um, Unless it's your life path, then it will break down again to a two, which is my life path number. Okay. God, the source of wisdom. So this is the action towards the first step. Right? To have wisdom. 
All right, you're getting there's wisdom here. And all this thinking and looking around. Fountain of wisdom gives success in all ventures. Yeah, you're searching. It's like this globe here. All right, lots of globes. A compass. You, you're drawing out the map, the world. You have the world in your hands, right? The dating site. Okay. Maybe you um, are very spiritual. So it's your source of wisdom. Right? You're not looking for one night stand. You're looking for your lover. And you want to have intellectual uh, conversations. So you want to focus on nurturing and maintaining everything. Right? 66. 12. 3. Creativity. Knowledge of good and evil appeases divine anger, cures epilepsy. Wow. God nurturing and maintaining everything. This is really a weird card. So I want to show it to you a little closer. Here it looks kind of like a vagina. Which is very intriguing. Um, you, know, you do have the lover's card here. So it could be something very sexual, right? You're looking for this person and you're going to nurture them, right? And you're going to give them some sweet loving. Okay, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Are you glad you're gonna find someone to love? You're gonna love yourself in order to bring this love in? You know, because others can't love you if you don't love yourself. So then they can't find anything to love about you either. If you can't even find something to love about yourself, right? Okay. Okay, and then we have pile number three. Oh, interesting. And I put these backwards. I'm pretty sure I put the other ones all the right way. I literally put all three of these backwards. So, pile number three, we're already starting off backwards. And I'm just going to leave it like that. Because that's how it lays. Okay. So you need to shine the light on something. Uh, looks like some sort of a, a graduation roll there. The scroll. Your um, diploma. Right? It's maybe um, where you're writing all your spells down. Definitely looks like you're concocting something here. Some sort of a spell. And we have the moon, which you need to illuminate something. So we need to illuminate the secret of something here. Okay, what have you brought to this full moon to heal? 
star. Interesting. The star card is a very positive card. It's wishes granted. Okay, so maybe you have some sort of a wish. But, uh, maybe you're... It's like a love spell. Maybe you want this person to fall in love with you. And you're putting a spell on them. Maybe you're trying to convince them that you're something that you're not. Right? It's your shadow side. Because this person is so beautiful. Right? It looks very chic. Um, hip. With, with the times. Right? A young girl. Who's just learning how to balance her emotions. And you're manipulating her in some way. could even be older and this is a younger person and yeah, this is a lot of weight and things that you're thinking up you're not thinking clearly you're not seeing clearly because you have this small little tiny candle here All right but you got this giant lantern here and then you have the moon, which is even more giant. Maybe you're trying to hide your shadow side from this person. You want to come towards this person, but they don't think they you you don't think they'll accept you for who you are. So you're kind of hiding in this cloak. But she's super cute and she loves animals. She loves being out in nature. She seems like the whole package, right? Maybe she has some sort of secret. You could both have a secret. You're both kind of on this dark side. What area of life needs? Okay, what area of your life needs to be organized? Six of Pentacles. You're giving and receiving. Okay, you're giving so much to others. You need to have more of a balance. You need to organize your finances, maybe. Maybe you're trying to impress this girl, but you are kind of a, um, a bum, right? <laughs> you don't have anything to offer this person, you think? Because you don't have all this money or you're giving too much? People need to give back to have that balance. Okay, this person could fill your cups because she's got a couple jugs here. Okay, how can you stay grounded moving forward? The King of Wands, have courage. Keep on roaring through. You're a king. You're in control. Take control. You know, tame the beast. I really feel like you're trying to hide something here. There's something like with the beast here.
Are you staying grounded moving forward? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I made me think of this, but like riding the lion, right? To help you move forward. The lion's not going to like that though. Okay, what is the outcome of this full moon in Virgo? The Ace of Wands. Okay, this is foundation. This is passion. This is an offering, a fast movement. Mm -hmm, this is an interesting read. I mean, I'm getting like a, such a weird vibe from it. It's almost like pedophile-like. Like an older man lusting after a younger girl. Right in the neighborhood maybe. Because you're this older man here. And you're just kind of throwing out this money. Like look at me to get this attention. It's like giving candy to a child, right? To entice them to get into the van. This is like very dark. Right? Very dark. I talked about the light not really being shined out on this. There's some sort of weird spell. You're under a love spell. You're like obsessed with this other person so much that it's, it's unhealthy. Right, and these are very similar here as to where he's holding this like scroll and then he has a wand. Scrolls have messages. Wands are about passion and fire. You know, maybe he's um writing out some sort of a poem to profess the love for this person. Right. But maybe because you're the king of this castle here and you have all these riches. You know, with riches sometimes comes a lot of uh, shadow sides. You know, um, not always, but you know, especially portrayed in movies, right? There's a lot of movies that are like that. Okay, this person is a high stature. This person is of high stature. person is of a high stature this person is of high stature right so my camera just went off about five times in between there. Um, there's definitely something that really is hidden here and does not want to be in the light. Uh, I, <laughs> it's the weirdest reading. I can't really figure it out. So this person is of high stature here and this is like their trophy wife. Um, And it seems like maybe they have a spell over this person because they're offering all of these riches to this person. This person seems a little naive. 
you know, they're kind of just, mm, oh, you have cute dogs. Oh, how cute you have a pond in your backyard. But there's some sort of a, um, a weird vibe. Okay. Alright, so I kind of want to clarify this. So, what is this mysterious thing that is hidden that you want to keep from this other person? They want a family with you. <laughs> they want to be your lover. Oh my gosh. They want to give you the world. Maybe even impregnate you. This could be a narcissist that you're dealing with here. And they definitely want to offer you all of these things. They're not really showing you their other side. This totally reminds me of my ex-husband. Just so weird. Which you know, I will say he cheated on me with a 23 year old. He left his family. To be with this other person. So this is, this could be a third party situation. Tell me more about this. Is <sighs> the devil, right? This is this is like the magician here, right? Trickery once again. You know, somebody was really controlling. They're controlling. They have all the power. They have all this. You don't really have anything. You don't even have clothes on. All you have is your emotions. You're so young and vulnerable. This person's messing with you. They are toxic AF. Tell me more about this devil. Ten of Swords. Okay. We're looking to other horizons. This other person is looking at other horizons. If it's a third party situation. They're looking over here. Grass is greener on the other side. Grass is greener here. Justice. There'll be justice for this. There'll be balance. This person's going to get their karma. You see this person for what they are. Maybe you're using them. And you're pretending to be all these other things, wanting to be a lover and have a family. But you really just want these riches to dress yourself up and have all these... Um, Vanity things. Yeah, she's got jewelry hanging off of her ankle here. Cute little outfits. Super cute little bikini. They're on vacation. Yeah, this definitely feels like third party. This is your mistress. And you're gifting her with all kinds of things. Yet you have this family already. And then you're also offering this other person the same thing. person sees you though. 
there is going to be justice there's going to be karma mm, wow that was a weird reading okay um true love your wholeness and safety lie within not from a partner but this sovereign sovereignty actually leads to the deepest intimacy for you to stop using others <laughs> let me stand on my own feet dear lord and know true love okay this is you Okay, things that lie within, not from your partner, not from this other person. True love doesn't come from a spell. Somebody shouldn't have to trick you to fall in love with them. That's not love. Okay. But the sovereignty actually leads to the deepest intimacy for you to stop using others, right? This is using others. Let me stand on my own feet, dear Lord, and know true love. This person does not know true love. They only know how to buy things. And you can't buy love. Enjoyment. Striving and pushing makes life into endless hard work. The more you're inviting love to take over, the more enjoyment comes. Allow me to enjoy this life, dear Lord. Right. Endless hard work. All right. You have this diploma here. You're making all this money. You have all this, you know, the housing, the control. The endless hard work, the more you're inviting love to take over. Alright. This is what you want. Alright, maybe you're building a home for your family and for this lover. Uh Lee Pai Do Light. Lepidolite, recall your dreams. Hmm. Right when you go to sleep at night, you kind of have this magic going on while you're sleeping. Recall your dreams. There's messages in your dreams. Amazonite, loosen your grip. Right. You're, you're trying so hard to get this person's attention here. Loosen your grip. You got this grip here. Get your grip. Passion, the mind, fast moving, challenges, knowledge. New blueprints. It's time to make a new story. Stop trying to buy people's love. Figure out how to romance this person, how to actually have the love that you want. And give this to this person as well. Crystal keys, give them the key. To your home. Right? You could be moving in with somebody. This is a new fresh start. To have this family and this justice. Mm hmm. New blueprints. Right? Pregnancy. It's 
like a blueprint of your love, right? Starting a family. You need to stop tricking people into loving you and using money as a way to be part of your life. You're never going to find happiness that way. You're not truly going to find what you're looking for. And deep down, this is what you're looking for, but you're hiding it. You're moving backwards. You don't seem to understand. You don't have the knowledge of how to approach somebody. Okay. Wow, that was an interesting one. Okay, so we're going to do uh, what is your purpose in life? And we are going to find the Ace of Wands. The card behind is actions towards your first steps. The card in front is what you need to focus on. Okay, so we're looking for the Ace of Wands. Uh, I kind of have this like pit in my stomach right now for this reading. This is just like, ugh, it just takes me back and uh, I just don't like that feeling. <laughs> okay, we're looking for the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands right there. Voila. Okay, so um, the card behind is the action towards your first step. Uh, the God deflecting evil. Oh, wow, right? Here we have the devil. Right with the Empress. I mean, Empress is very close to God. This is the 23. This is about changes. Healing capacity. Protection from weapons. Safety in travel. I feel like this other person here is just very... Either you or this other person is very... Toxic. Okay. And somebody needs to heal and have protection from them and get away. God is deflecting this evil. These empty promises, these spells of love. So take protection. It's the first step. So that you can heal. Get away from this. Okay, focus on God, protector, and savior. Holy cow. This angel has like a devil's head here. Your angels are watching you and protecting you from this, this evil, this witchery. Truth and justice. Justice again. Justice. Protection from enemies. Who would steal one's fortune, right? We've been talking about all this fortune here. Fortune. Your enemy is the devil. Somebody playing tricks on you. Keeping things hidden from you. Third party situations. Promising things that they're never going to actually give you. Pretending like this is something that they want. Knowing that it is something that you do want. Run. Safety and travel. Be safe getting out of this. This could be really tricky. This is very complicated reading. Oh. I place protection over you. Clearing. 
Okay. Don't be so naive. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for the tricks. Mm -hmm. It's the beautiful gold. Right? Enticing, right? Enticing. Wow. That one was um strong. Okay. That was for someone. And I um I pray for you for your safe passage of getting out of the situation and getting out of this um spell. Somebody's cast a spell on you. Okay. I ask Archangel Michael to protect you through this journey. Your wish is going to be granted, though. Even with all of this, as long as you walk away, protect yourself. Protection from enemies. Okay. All right. Thank you for joining me on this full moon in Virgo. Pick a card reading. I hope that you got um, the answers that you seeked. If you did, and you would uh, like to share it with others, please subscribe, like, and share. So others can have the same benefit. And you can support me in my channel. <sighs> Take a few deep breaths in. Exhale, all the stagnant, dark energy. Release it all to the universe. The universe will take care of you. Your angels will guide and protect you. Remember to love yourself. Know your worth. Forgive yourself for the mistakes that you have made in order to gain wisdom. See it as a blessing. Have gratitude and open up your heart and mind to the unknown so that you can better take actions for the emotions that you feel. I hope this was releasing and cleansing and you can move forward with a bright future. Make the right choices towards your destiny. Towards your north node, towards your spirituality. Open yourself up to love, giving and receiving, and have balance. Don't stop being yourself. You are loved the way you are. And you will still be loved, even if you don't give all of yourself. Cut yourself some slack. Give yourself some rest. Take time for yourself. Know your worth. You are good enough.
Don't beat yourself up about the mistakes. Because that is what is going to shine your light for your future. On your path. On this journey. As a human here on earth. Looking up at the full moon. Letting the light illuminate on your face. Shine on your skin. And bring out any of the shadows that need releasing at this time. Have them go away for the universe to take care of in your favor. For your greatest good and for the good of others, I thank you for being here. I thank our angels. I have gratitude. Thank you. And I love you all. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.